Sun group theory. This is lecture number two. That is a part two in group theory. In this lecture, it contains a clear cut explanation of one of the symmetry element. That is nothing but a axis of symmetry or proper axis of symmetry, rotational axis of symmetry. Proper axis of symmetry or rotational axis of symmetry. That is simply represented as a CM. That is simply represented as CM. The definition, the definition of a proper axis of symmetry is nothing much. An imaginary axis passing through the molecule, an imaginary axis passing through the molecule about which operation, which rotational operation carried out results an equivalent configuration. Which operation results an equivalent configuration. That rotation simply it is noted as proper axis of symmetry. Proper axis of symmetry. So simply, so which kind of uh, rotations will use the uh, like uh, proper axis of the equivalent configurations? Uh, let us imagine. So here it is the center of the molecule. So here atom is A, here atom B is present. So this is the x-axis, y-axis. X-axis, y-axis. So if you rotate the molecule by 30 degrees rotation. So both the atoms are will transfer like this. 30 degrees rotation, x-axis, y-axis. So center atom is the remains constant. A is shifted from over to here. B is shifted from line to somewhere with the 30 degrees rotation. With 30 degrees rotation. So here this is the theta, 30 degrees of rotation. So that 30 degrees of rotation, whether it produces equivalent configuration or not. That is the major thing. Okay. So here 30 degrees of rotation, it cannot replace similar kind of atoms original position. It cannot replace the similar kind of atoms original positions. Okay. So A will replace the B position and B will replace the A position. That was the time it gives the equivalent configuration. Equivalent configuration. So these kind of equivalent configurations produced by the sum of the order of rotation. So that rotation simply it is called as proper axis of symmetry. So simply the best example is water molecule O H A H B. H A H B is there. So H A replaces by the H B. Similarly H B replaces by the H A on particular particular angle of rotation. That particular angle of rotation is nothing but C N axis of symmetry. Okay, so here it is the water molecule. For better understanding, I'll go with the representation, molecular representation. So this is the water molecule. This is the water molecule. So this is the water molecule. So oxygen, two hydrogens. Oxygen, two hydrogens. So it, it, if it produces the equivalent configuration, if we, it uh, required to produce the equivalent configuration, it rotates the molecule. Around almost 180 degrees. Almost 180 degrees. Are you clear? So 180 degrees rotation will use the uh, equivalent configuration. Okay. An imaginary axis passes through the molecule. This is an imaginary axis. If it rotates the 180 degrees rotation, A replaces the B, B replaces the A. A replaces the B, B replaces the A. Again, one more rotation, it produces the identical configuration. Okay. Are you clear about identical and equivalent configuration? Because uh, previous classes I have discussed over there equivalent and identical configuration. Okay, so now here it requires 180 degrees of rotation. 180 degrees of rotation that will produce the equivalent configuration. That will produce the equivalent configuration. Again, one more 180 degrees it produces identical configuration. Identical configuration. Here the symmetry element is. Operation is rotation about axis. Symmetry element is axis of symmetry. Proper axis of symmetry or rotational axis of symmetry. Axis of symmetry. So the axis of symmetry is simply represented as a CL. Here L is equal to order of rotation. Here L is equal to order of rotation. Okay. So for example, if L simply the, the formula of L is equal to 360 by Theta. The formula of L is equal 360 by theta. If theta is equal to 180 degrees, according to our water molecule example, if theta is equal to 180 degrees, then order of rotation is 360 by 180. 360 by 180. That is equal to the 2. 
So order of rotation is equal to then if 180 degrees rotations will produces the equivalent configuration. Those kind of molecules possesses with the C to C axis of symmetry. Those kind of molecules possesses with the C to kind of symmetry. Like uh, theta is equal to 120 degrees. So then n is equal to 360 by 120. That is equal to 3. So now here the rotational axis of symmetry present in the molecules C3 in kind of a theta 120 degrees rotation that is C3 molecules C3 axis of the symmetry now it is 90 n is equal to 365 by 90 that is equal to the 4 C4 axis of symmetry is present C4 axis of symmetry is present so these kind of axis of symmetry was observed in different different kinds of molecules Okay, I think here simply it is also represented as theta is equal to 2 pi by n. Theta is equal to 2 pi by n. For example, if theta is equal to 180 degrees, if theta is equal to 180 degrees, that means 2 into 180 pi, pi is equal to 180 degrees. So here n is equal to 2. C2 rotation simply it is represented as 2 pi by 2. Simply it is pi rotation. Or 120 degrees, 2 pi by 3. 120 degrees because pi is equal to 180, 180, 2 is 360, 360 by 3 that is equal to the 120 degrees rotation. If 2 pi by 4, 2 pi by 4 that, that leads to the 90 degrees rotation. Okay, so the rotation can also represent it as 2 pi by 3, 2 pi by 4, pi, etc. Okay, so that is also a kind of a representation of improper axis of symmetries, proper axis of symmetries. Now I go with uh, plenty of examples with proper explanation. Okay, this is very uh, simple basic information regarding to the axis of symmetry. First one is like a water molecule. We know that this is very simple one, which is already discussed. H A H B. So the rotation will produce the equivalent configuration is 180, 180 degrees. Again, one more 180. It produces the H. It produces the H like the identical configuration. So two C two are present. 2 C2s are present. Simply those 2 C2s are C21 and C22. C21 and C22. This is the water kind of molecule. Now, another one is ammonia type of molecule. Ammonia type. The ammonia, we know that the shape of ammonia molecule it is pyramidal. Okay. So the shape of ammonia molecule is pyramidal. Pyramidal type of molecule. Pyramidal means uh, so these three atoms will represent like this. So first atom, second atom, third atom. So it, it's, it seems to be easy to remember like pyramids. Okay. So this is the closed phase, closed phase. So this is the closed phase. Another closed phase. Okay. So this is the like uh, ammonia molecule shape. Ammonia molecule shape. Can you imagine an imaginary axis through the nitrogen molecule? Can you imagine? An imaginary axis through the nitrogen molecule. So about 120 degrees rotation it produces the equivalent configuration. I think it is clear. So 120 degrees rotation can only use the equivalent configuration. 120 degrees of rotation. Okay. So this is the NH3 molecule. So for sake of simplicity, I'll write the triangular molecule. Triangle. So in the center of the molecule is a nitrogen. Okay. So this is the center of the molecule. For sake of simplicity, now I write the molecules like this. Three dimensional representation also can be given. Okay, nitrogen, H1, H, H. Okay, so simply HBA, HB, HC. So this is the NH3 molecule representation. So NH3 molecule here it, it produces with 2 by 3 rotation. 2 by 3 uh, rotation. That is nothing but 120, 120 degrees of rotation. So that 120, 120 degree of rotation it produces V shifted over the C, 
C shifted over here, A shifted over B. So this is the 120 degrees rotation. Okay, so here are my equation HA, HB, HC. So one 120 degrees rotation will produce this kind of configuration. Again, one more 120 degrees rotation will produce HA, HB, HC. Again, here one more rotation is also possible. So that rotation. HA, HB, HC. So here totally one, two, three rotations are there. Totally it is three rotations. So here 140 degrees of rotation. Theta is equal to 120. Then order of uh, order of axis is three. Then it processes with C3. So here three kind of C3s are there. So those three C31, C32, C33, C33. For example, in case of one. Like it is a, it is also represented as like three dimensional mind hydrogen 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 so one is a, uh, closer to the uh, nearer to the molecule and another one is away from the observer okay so H A H A H A H A simply so this is the simple representation can you imagine the imaginary axis Okay, so 140 degrees rotation will use the one equivalent configuration. Again, 140 degrees rotation will produce the another equivalent configuration. So third rotation will produce the identical configuration. Identical configuration. So these three kind of rotational axes are there. Okay, so this is the simple examples regarding to the rotational axis of symmetry. Before going to the complicated examples, so some of the different kind of representations are there. So that is C21 and C22. C21 and C22. So here Cn power n is the same. That means order and the rotational axis are different configurations are same. So Cn power n is equal to that is identical configuration. We know that identical. So exact molecule exact molecule is there that, that is the identical configuration. So first one, third one, exact molecules. First one, fourth one, exact molecules. So that exact molecules will always produce the last kind of C3 power 3, C2 power 2, C4 power 4. So these kind of representations will produce the identity, identical configuration. Identical configuration, configurations. Okay. Not only this uh, proper axis of symmetry, the yeah, axis of symmetry simply simply classified as two types. One is primary axis of symmetry. Primary axis of symmetry. Second one is secondary axis of symmetry. Secondary axis of symmetry or simply subsidiary axis of symmetry. Subsidiary axis of symmetry. I think it is clear. Okay. So this is the simple representation of a CN, CN type of rotations. Now, before going to the complicated molecules representation, we are aware about uh, these class, these two classification axis of symmetry. One is primary axis of symmetry, and another one is the secondary axis of symmetry. Now, let's move on to the, those primary and secondary axis of symmetry. So first one, the primary axis of symmetry. Primary axis of symmetry. So if a molecule which possesses with more than one type of more than one type of rotational axis, for example, a molecule which possesses C3 and C2, more than one type of rotational axis. If a molecule uh, like a B kind of molecule which possesses C4, C3, C2. Okay, so if a molecule processes with a different kind of rotational axis of symmetry, the highest fold of axis of symmetry is simply said to be primary axis of symmetry. So now in A molecule it processes with C3 and C2. So here C3 is the primary axis of symmetry. C3 is the primary axis of symmetry. In case of B molecule, here it processes with C4, C3, C2. So the highest fold of rotation is nothing but C4. That's why that is the primary axis of symmetry. 
So first point is highest fold rotation. Highest fold rotation. So that is primary axis subsumed. Or sometimes, so here C molecule is there. So that C molecule possesses with three different types of C2. So C2 is there, C2 is there, C2 is there. So here one C2 is different from the remaining two. So all the all the all the rotational axes are the same, similar type of rotational axes, but they are given the different kind of rotations, different kind of rotations, even though all are C2 axes are symmetric. So this this kind of uh, time is there, so then we will go with uh, an axis passing through more number of atoms, more number of atoms. Those are simply called as primary axis subsymmetry. Those are simply called as primary axis subsymmetry. Simple thing. So highest fold rotational axis is primary axis of symmetry. Or if similar kind of similar like a similar kind of rotational axis is present, then so which axis, which kind, which C2 axis, which having the more number of rotations throughout the imaginary axis, then it's said to be primary axis of symmetry. So here A molecule possesses with C3, C2. C3 is the primary axis of symmetry. C2 is the subsidiary axis of symmetry. So B, C4 is the primary axis of symmetry. Remaining two are subsidiary axis of symmetry. Now here one kind of C2 is primary axis of symmetry. Remaining or secondary subsidiary axis of symmetry. Now let's move on to the simple explanations. Simple examples with a clear explanation. So the, uh, the best example, Vx3 type of molecule. So this shape of Vx3 is planar triangle. Planar triangle. So Vx3 shape, so now here x, x, x. Okay. So this is the simple representation of Vx3 Vx3 molecule. So here it is the Vx3. So all the, like a spin. So all the X atoms, all the chlorine atoms are present in same plane. All the chlorine atoms present in same plane. So this is the BX3 type of molecule. All the chlorine atoms along with the boron, it is present in the same plane. Okay, so simply it is called as planar molecule. Simply it is called as planar molecule. So here two kinds of symmetry elements are there. So let's imagine. So this is a primary axis, this is an imaginary axis of symmetry. This is an imaginary axis of symmetry. So an imaginary axis passes through the center of a molecule. So now here three atoms are there. So these three atoms are in the 360 degrees rotation of the axis. So whenever A atom replaces by the B, it requires 120 degrees rotation. A atom replaces the B that requires 120 degrees of rotation. So an imaginary axis passes through the molecule, it gives the three C3s. How many C3s? Three C3s. Because here theta is equal to 120 degrees rotation. Theta is equal to 120 degrees rotation. For sake of uh, simplicity, now I write the molecules like this. So boron x x x. So simply it is a boron x1 x2 x3. Okay. So now here is the molecule. So here 120 degrees can gives the like a x1 replaces the x2, x2 replaces the x3, x3 replaces the x1. So equivalent configuration produces equivalent configuration. So x2, x3, x1, so x2, like x1 replaces somewhere over here, x1, x2. So this is the equivalent configuration. Again, one more 120 degrees rotation, it produces so x2, x3, x1. Again, one more C3 axis, of C3 axis is present. So that is x1, so x3, x1, x2. So simply, so x1 present over here, x2 shifted over here, x1 shifted over here, then x2 shifted over here, so x3 shifts over there. Okay, now again second example, x1 shifted from right position to left, left position. Again here x1 shifted from left, left corner to right position, right position. So this is the three kind of 
120 degrees rotation. So here C3, C3 is on there. Here 3, C3 is on there. So what is C3 1, C3 2, C3 3 that is equal to the identity. That is equal to the identity. So along with C3, again it possesses with uh, some other axis of symmetries. Can you imagine? So this is the planar molecule. This is the planar molecule. So let us imagine it is x1, x2, x3. So here top, uh, can you imagine the imaginary axis from top to center of the molecule only that, that will produce the C3 axis of symmetry. Now in this case, so can you imagine the can you imagine the an imaginary axis through x1 and boron atom, x1 and boron atom, like this. So this is an imaginary axis. This is an imaginary axis. The imaginary axis passing through the molecule, not up or bottom. For sake of uh, uh, sticking, I'll, I'll show like this. Okay. So an imaginary axis passes through the like x1 and boron. It it, it leads to the equivalent configuration with the rotation of 180 degrees only. Okay. So here it is the atom. Here it is the atom. So with 180 degrees rotation, it produces the equivalent configuration. It produces the equivalent configuration. 180 degrees. So can you imagine x1, x2, x3. 180 degrees rotation through x1 and boron. So this is the axis. So now here, uh, these kind of axis of symmetry is present. Now here, x1 and boron uh, uh, axis of symmetry is present. So here, 180 degrees rotation. So these two atoms can only shift. So x2 shifted over here, x3 shifts over there. So this is the first, first C2. Again, one more C2 is present. That is, 180 degrees rotation will produce the an identical configuration. x3, x2, x1. So here overall C2 is present. C2 is present through the X1 and the boron. Through the X1 and the boron. So one type of C2 is present. One type of C2. Again, can you imagine X2 with boron atom? So the similar thing, X2 with boron atom. So this is the X1, this is X2. X2 with boron atom, again it produces the equivalent configuration. Again, it produces the equivalent configuration. Again, one more rotation, it produces the equivalent configuration. So another kind of C2 is there. So second kind of C2. Again, similarly, X3 boron is also present. But X3 boron is also present. So how many types of C2s are present? One, two, three. Three types of C2s are there. Three types of C2s are present. So here it processes with C3 along with the three C2s. C3 along with three C2s. Among these two, C3 is the principal axis of symmetry and C2 is subsidiary axis of symmetry. Subsidiary axis of symmetry. I think it is clear. So this is principal axis of symmetry, this is subsidiary axis of symmetry. So in future it is very helpful. Now let's move on to the some square planar model. Now, second one is square planar complexes. Square planar complexes are molecules. So, simply the best example is Cl, 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 Cl. Cl1, Cl2, Cl3, Cl4. So, this is the square planar molecule. So, the, so this is a square planar molecule. This is a square planar molecule. So, that square planar molecule in four corners, the four atoms present in the four corners. Can you imagine the axis? So this is the imaginary axis through the center atom, through the center atom. So about 90 degrees rotation. Here four atoms are there, 360 by 4, that is a 90 degrees rotation, can only produce the equivalent configuration, can only result the equivalent configuration. So 90 degrees it produces one, one C4 axis, again one more 90 it produces another C4 axis, one more 90 it produces the another equivalent configuration. Can you imagine? So here it is the 90 degrees. So what are the 90 degrees rotation? It produces platinum. So Cl1 over here, Cl2 shifted over here, Cl3 shifts over there, Cl1. So Cl3, Cl4. 
So this is the first 90 degrees. So this is first sleeper axis. Again, similarly, another sleeper axis is also there. So now here CL1, CL2, CL3, CL4. So again, one more, one more sleeper axis is there. CL1, CL2, CL3, CL4. So the final one is platinum. So now here CL1, CL2, CL3, CL4. So totally here C4, C4 axis are there. So 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 C4 axis are present. So here 4 C4 axis are present. So that 4 C4 axis is either principal axis or secondary axis. That is the question. Okay. So again you have to look at the molecule and which kind of another symmetry elements are present. So can you find the without another kind of symmetry elements? And then only you will fix it whether it is putting primary axis of symmetry or secondary axis of symmetry. So this is the planar square planar molecule CL1, CL2, CL3, CL4. Okay, so now here an imaginary axis passes through the top of the molecule that produces C4 axis of symmetry. Now here, so this is CL1, CL2, CL3, CL4. So CL1 to CL4, CL1 to CL4. So CL1 platinum CL4. Sorry, CL1 to platinum CL3. So these three atoms, can you imagine playing, can you imagine the plane through the CL1, platinum and CL4? So that will produce us the like two atoms only there. So that two atoms will replace us with one 180 degrees rotation only. So this is the atom. Can you can you show it like this? So CL1, platinum, CL3. So 180 degrees rotation will produce the equivalent configuration. Again, one more 180, it produces the identical configuration. Identical configuration. So CL1 to CL3, one C3 axis of symmetry, one C3 axis of symmetry. Again, similarly, CL2 to CL4, again it is another C3 axis of symmetry. So two C2s are there. Again, not only through the atoms, in between the atoms also it produces the C3 axis of symmetry. So this is CL1, CL2, CL3, CL4. CL1, CL2, CL3, CL4. So can you imagine the axis in between the CL3 and CL4? In between the CL3 and CL4, so 180 degrees rotation, 180 degrees rotation will produce the similar kind of uh, equivalent configuration. Again, one more 180, it produces identical configuration. That indicates here a kind of C2 element is also there, a kind of C2 element. So, for better understanding, so this is platinum, CL1, CL2, CL3, sorry, CL3, CL4. So, can you imagine the plane? C3 axis of symmetry. Can you imagine the axis between the CL1 and the CL4? CL1 and CL4. So that produces 180 degrees rotation. So the platinum. So now here CL1. So here CL4. Here CL3 and the CL2. Again, one more 180 degrees rotation will produce the identical configuration. This is an equivalent. Again, one more one more rotation that will produce us the identical configuration. So here one kind of C2 is there. So first, second, third kind of C2. So the final most kind of C2. CL1, CL2, CL3, CL4. So here it processes between CL3 and CL4, CL2 and CL1. An imaginary axis passes through the CL3 and CL4. That is fourth kind of fourth kind of rotational axis. So that is a C2 axis. So C4 axis of symmetry is there, along with that, 4 C2 kind of symmetries are present. So C4, 4 C2. So among these two, C4 is principal axis of symmetry and C2 is the subsidiary axis of symmetry. Subsidiary axis of symmetry. I think it is clear. Now let's move on to the antagonal. Antagonal chart. So pentagon geometry. So here pentagon geometry. So pentagon geometry means here similarly an imaginary axis uh, passes through the like uh, pentagon molecule is there. So an imaginary axis passes through like this. So a circle having the five groups. So that means a 360 by 5. So simply here theta is equal to 360 by 5, that is 360 by theta. So that is equal to the C5 rotation. C5 
rotation. So see here, so example 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So like it is, it is nothing but a, so a planar molecule. So that planar molecule will produce the C5 rotation. C5 rotation. So the pentagram. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So five C5 axis of symmetry are present. So the fifth C5 axis of symmetry will result in the identical configuration. Will result in the identical configuration. Again, if C5 axis of symmetry is there, then how many types of symmetry are present? That is the question. So then how many different kind of subsequent axis are there? That is also another way of asking the question. Okay, now here one, two, three, four, five. So, and can you imagine the an imaginary plane through central atom and first atom? So this is one kind of sequence subsumer. So it produces two to five, five to two, three to four, four to three. That is one CPX subsumer. Again, I can you imagine the X subsumer through second and central atom. It is also a kind of CPX subsumer. A kind of CPX subsumer. Here also it is a kind of CPX subsumer. C2 axis of symmetry. So again, 4 to so here 4 to uh, 4 to central atom that is again C2 axis of symmetry. Finally, 5 to central atom that is also C2 axis of symmetry. How many C2s are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 C2s are there. C5 along with 5 different kind of C2s are present. So here C5 is the principal axis of symmetry. C2 is the subsidiary axis of symmetry. Now I'll give the very simple trick regarding to these kind of planar molecule. Whenever so it, it, it the trick is apply, applicable for a simple rule. So whenever CN is present, so that having the same order of uh, C2 axis. Generally C2 is the subsidiary axis in plenty of the molecules. Okay. If CN is present, uh, so then n number of C2s are there, n number of subsidiary axis are present. Simply or simply n the number of n the number of subsidiary axis of C2s, n the number of subsidiary C2 axis is equal to its principal axis R. Principal axis R. Very simple thing. It's principal axis R. So if three C2s are present, then principal axis R is C3. Four C2s are present, and then principal R is C4. Five C2s are present, then principal principal axis R is a C5. Simple thing. Okay. So whenever it is applicable, so that C N axis of symmetry is perpendicular to the subsidiary. So here square plane of molecule. So this is the C N axis of symmetry. So C N axis of symmetry. So this is the top of the molecule. So C N axis of symmetry. So that CN axis of symmetry perpendicular to the like uh, those uh, uh, subsidiary axis of symmetry. Here it is the like uh, C2 axis of symmetry. C2 axis of symmetry. So CM and C2, so the both are perpendicular to each other. Whenever principal axis and subsidiary axis perpendicular to each other, then only this formula is applicable. Then only this formula is applicable. So CN axis and subsidiary axis. They both are perpendicular to each other. So then only C N is present, then definitely n number of C2s are present. N number of C2s are present. So for, for sake of simplicity, I'll give you one example. Final clarity. So we know that a benzene molecule, an extraordinary molecule, so benzene molecule. So benzene molecule having how many kind of axis of symmetry? Having how many kind of axis of symmetry? This is the benzene. So can you imagine the plane through the like the top of the molecule? Let's imagine benzene is a planar molecule, then can you imagine the top of the axis? So six planets are there, then it processes with the C6. C6 axis of symmetry is present in benzene molecule. So along with the C6, how many kinds of how many types of C2s are there? So simply if C6 is there, so then C6 is uh, passes through the throughout the molecule and uh, C2 axis of symmetry is perpendicular to it, perpendicular to the principal axis of symmetry. Okay, subsidiary axis is perpendicular to the principal axis of symmetry. So then it is 6 C2 sub present. So this rule is applicable. Okay, so here it is 1 C2 axis of symmetry, 2 C2 axis of symmetry, 
And finally, this is a C3S. The third C3S, actually. So C21, C22, C33. So remaining C3s are in between the molecules. So this is C4, C5, C6. So, the, so here, six kind of C2, C3 are substance in the subcasimeter. In benzene molecule, C6 is the principal axis of symmetry. C2 is the subsidiary axis of symmetry. C2 is the subsidiary axis of symmetry. So this is a similar kind of uh, axis of rotation. Now I'll give a very simple and complicated example that is ethylene molecule. That is ethylene molecule. So here it is the example of ethylene molecule. Okay, so here it is the ethylene, P double bond C, hydrogen, 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 hydrogen. So here it is the ethylene molecule. For simple representation, this is the like a carbon carbon, so single bond, double bond. So this is the pi bar. So this is the pi bar. So carbon carbon. Singular uh, pi bond. So simply it is the CC, CC double bond. So here two atoms are there. Two carbon atoms. Sorry, two hydrogen atoms. Two hydrogen atoms. Two hydrogen atoms and two hydrogen atoms. All having the like a similar kind of plane. So here it is the ethylene molecule. So in ethylene molecule, how many kind of axis of symmetry are there? How many kind of axis of symmetry are present? So can you imagine the for a simple axis of symmetry through the two carbon atoms? So you have the HA, HB, HC, HB. So this is the simplest representation. So this is the C2 axis of symmetry. So C2 axis can only use the can only use the equivalent configuration. That's why here it is the C2 axis of symmetry. So C2 axis of symmetry, C double bond C. So HA, HB, HC, HB. So on, on performing the C2 axis of symmetry through the C1 and the C2 molecule, here HC shifted over there, HB shifted over here. So this is HB, this is HC. So here it is HB, here it is HC. Again, one more rotation that will produce the identical configuration. So this is first kind of C2. First kind of C2. Again, so ethylene molecule is present. HA, HB, HC, HB. So ethylene molecule is present. Again, an imaginary axis process through passes in between the two, car two carbon atoms. So this is the ethylene molecule. So it passes in between the two carbon atoms. So now the rotation like this. So this is also 180 degrees rotation. So that 180 degrees rotation is nothing but a C2 axis of symmetry. C2 axis of symmetry. So now HC shifted over here. HB shifted over here, like similarly, so HA, HB, similarly HA, HB, two C2s are, this is also another kind of C2S subsymmetry. Now, final most, so the final most, another C2S subsymmetry is there, so that C2S subsymmetry like this, so here HA, HB, HC, HB. So the C2, so this is the HA, HB, HC, H2. So here, this kind of C2 axis of symmetry. So can you imagine, can you fix it? So here it is the HD. So this is the D. So can you, can you process us, can you perform the, so this kind of C2 axis of symmetry, that means uh, these two atoms shifted over here. That means uh, HB shifts over there, and HC shifted over here. HA shifted over here, HB shifted over there. So that is exactly 180 degrees. HD here to here 180 degrees. HC here to here 180 degrees. HB here to here 180 degrees. HA here to here 180 degrees. So this is a 180 degrees rotation. So that leads to the like a HD, HC, HB, HA. Again, one more 180 degrees that produces the identical configuration. Produces the identical configuration. So here, here three C2s are there. Here three C2s are there. So among these three C2s, which is principal axis and which are subsidiary axis. So three different kind of C2 elements are present. C2 axis of symmetries are present in ethylene molecule. So which kind of uh, sorry, simply which type of uh, C2 is another principal axis which are subsidiary axis that is the question mark 
So let me know our definition. Highest default access of symmetry is, is principal access. Here three are similar kind of similar kind of folder of access and of symmetry. So that's why if in case of a tie between the principal and subsidiary access, then you go for the highest number of atoms that touches through the axis of symmetry. Touches through the axis of symmetry. Here there is no atom is touching. Here uh, molecular rot rotation here, here also lesser number of atoms are touching. But uh, for topmost one, topmost one C2, it possesses with uh, two carbon atoms. So that's why it is principal axis of symmetry. So the remaining two are subsidiary axis of symmetry. So this is principal axis of symmetry. So the remaining two are subsidiary axis of symmetry. I hope you guys, it is very clear that information regarding the axis of symmetry. Okay. So simply we will discuss the uh, axis of symmetry, how to find the axis of symmetry in molecule. So here generally axis of symmetry, it is represented by the CN. So here N is equal to order of the rotation, order of the rotation. So that N is equal to 360 by theta. Theta is equal to angle of rotation or rotational angle, Ro angle of rotation or rotational angle. So again, this uh, axis of symmetry simply it is known as proper axis of symmetry. So these proper of axis of symmetry having the two classification, one is primary axis of symmetry, secondary axis of symmetry, primary as well as secondary axis of symmetry. So those primary and secondary axis of symmetry can be explained with uh, plenty of examples. I hope you guys, it is very clear. If you like the video, please share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.